Mexico City, baby! <laughs> yeah. touched down in Mexico City and wow we are impressed. There are about 22 million people that call this city home and it almost makes New York feel like a small town. We first got a glance at Mexico City during a layover a few years ago and we were in awe at how the city went on and on and on. That day we made a promise that we'll come back to visit and today we're doing just that. Our hotel is located in Roma Norte on Avenida Insurgentes, right in the heart of the city, and that's where we will be based out of for the next four days. Our bed is huge! Our bed is huge! So Sander never seems to disappoint me. Look at the beds. Sander beds. Oh no, look at those crooked picture frames. Oh, you know, it's, you know that. This, something has to go like this. Let's see what's going on outside. Yeah, a lot of construction. Here. Oh, wrong way. As soon as I can. Other way, other way. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Grab the other cord. Other cord. Other cord. Uh, other cord. Other cord. This one? Yes, that one. Yes, I breathe. A few moments later. Hey, how did you do that? It had the rope flip over, bro. It's construction everywhere. This way. Oh my god. It's kind of scary, bro. Like, like I'm literally seeing the construction guy look at me <laughs> <laughs> while I look at him. Like the airplane is right there, too. Oh my god. But it's not loud, though. Yeah. Like, I can't hear anything. Well, you're not drilling at the moment. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom looks crisp. Yeah, it looks pretty good in here. And they have um, soap and stuff for us. Yeah. Ah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Can't complain. It looks clean. And that's all we need. It's accidentally parked. And other construction. Yeah, other than the construction. We are in Mexico City for the very first time. So I am very excited to see Mexico City because this is the largest city in North America by population. And it's so obvious because it's so busy and there's so much happening. Um, so we're actually staying in a neighborhood called Roma Norte, which is in the center of Mexico City. And we're walking along Avenida Insurgentes, which is sort of like a main through street of a lot to see and do over to an area called Juarez and Cuauhtémoc, and Cuauhtémoc is like a historic area as well where there's gonna be a lot to see and do. So in my opinion, Mexico City is like New York City times 10. The drive here was completely crazy. Today we went and took the train and that was insane. And everywhere you go, there is people selling stuff on the side of the street, which just kind of reminds me somewhat of Southeast Asia and also of places in the Caribbean as well. So, Mexico City, oh boy, here we go. But it, it is a booming city. I love it. They're, the vibes here is so amazing. People are really about their business. It's kind of like New York. They just mind their business and they are going where they need to be, just like in New York. Also, when you walk through the city, the smells will definitely captivate your face and you'll just be looking in every direction because on both sides of the street, 
you will see people selling something to eat and it will smell absolutely good. Mexican food is considered to be intangible cultural human heritage by UNESCO. So that's the pedestal that Mexican food has been put on, on a world view. So if you're in Mexico and you're not getting the, the local street food, what is wrong with you? That's exactly what we're about to do now. We have to try some street food in Mexico City. Yeah, we have to. The thing is, we already tried some earlier and we're trying to do something a little bit different right now. But we're definitely getting Mexican street food like many times while we're gonna be here. Right. So it's not just the street food, it's the like food in general. So yeah, whether it's street food or restaurant food. That's where the heart is of the right. culture, it's on the street. True. different cities and I must say that every city we go to we take a little piece of it with us right now Mexico City is kind of reminding me or this area that we're in is kind of reminding me of uh, a particular place in Barcelona that we were and also some hints of Malaysia in there by where we were staying and what was that region called? Uh, Bukit Bintang. Bukit Bintang. Actually, like, no, 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 Chowkit. Oh, Chowkit, yeah, in Chowkit, not Bukit Bintang. We went to Bukit Bintang. But it's giving a little bit of Malaysia and a lot of Barcelona in some parts. And also the subway system here really, really reminds me of the subway system in Barcelona. So I definitely see the similarities. And what can I say? It's good to be able to compare. What is that? I want it. Oh, look at this. This looks good. Come on, come on. Why, why don't we get that one? Huh? Why don't we get that one? We'll get it later. Come on. I want to get it now. We've already made a plan. You're going to be full by the time it's time to eat. But the food just looks so good. This road is insane because it doesn't really look like a road, but oh it is. It's no crosswalk or but, anything. But this is it guys, this is what we walked all the way here for. I think that was a 30 minute trek that we just did just to see this statue which is just beautifully gorgeous and placed in like the most central point of the city it seems, or this part of the city. been here for over a hundred years but what's most important is the fact that this monument actually commemorates Mexico's victory and them gaining independence from Spain back in the 1800s I think it was 1821 and at the top is actually the goddess of victory and that is kind of the whole point of putting this here dead middle of Mexico City for everybody to know that Mexico is a free country and it's actually pretty iconic We just left our apartment saying, oh, we're gonna go buy crepes. We will do street food later. And then we walked past the street food stand and we had to come back. We had to come back home, grab our cameras and just like experience this street food with you guys. So let's go to the street food stand. Honestly, it's a little bit cooler outside today, like much cooler compared to yesterday. And compared to the part of Mexico that we were in before, which is Puerto Vallarta, this is, just it feels like Europe right now in the summer yeah. early European summer like Barcelona in September yeah which which is good we it needed feels to cool so down. refreshing we absolutely needed to cool down because we could not breathe where we were
So, coconut in hand in the middle of the city. This was not expected, but we literally found a random coconut guy and someone's already galloping it down. Was it worth it? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is a street food stand that we just walked by and we're like, yeah, we can't just walk by. Yeah. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Picadillo, pancita, pollo, chicharrón, uh. este, carne y papa con longaniza, queso. ¿Cicharrón? Uh, ¿Uno de chicharrón, por favor? Sí. I got the vegetarian variety because uh. I'm trying to not eat meat as much. But let's see how it goes. Mostly lettuce and Potato. potatoes. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to start. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. Thank you. It's just as good as I hoped. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the flavor? Mm -hmm. I taste more lettuce. I can't describe it. It's indescribable. But it's good. It's really good. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. I'm glad we stopped. Mm -hmm. That was absolutely a great decision to go back and get those cameras because that food was bomb. So what we actually had was quesadillas and I am not used to seeing quesadillas look like that because in the US they make them look completely different and I could say Mexico for the win for this one. Um, they were actually only 22 pesos a piece which is just incredibly cheap and yeah great way to start the breakfast now we're on to the next food stand yep we're just gonna go and continue becoming food travel bloggers i think at this point so we just came up on a second set of food stands and we are excited it's on both sides of the street wow we just came up on this other spot and it's smelling fantastic. The tacos look different here. The shells look black, so we gotta try it. We've never had that before. Sure. Okay. Definitely trying it, but you're buying it and then I'll taste what I'm Okay. okay. How good? It's like on the scale of like one to Mark Wiens. It's like up there with Mark Wiens. I think it's wow. the meat is really, really good. It smells amazing. When we were coming in here, I was like, yeah, we have to try this for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm a little scared because of the color. It is fine. <laughs> but let's do it. You won't even notice the color in your mouth. The meat is really good, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. As expected. As expected. Is it beef or is it beef or pork? It says barbecue, I don't know. <laughs> it's barbecue. <laughs> it's not beef, it's not pork, it's barbecue. So this place is located literally in front of what seems to be a clothing store on the side of the street. People are just passing by, going about their business. And we're literally here having breakfast. <laughs> Yo soy Simas? Yes. Abby. Sí. En, y ahora creamos un canal nuevo para viajar. Solo viajar. Y es, México es nuestro uh, primer lugar. Sí, primer viaje y después vamos a viajar uh, a otros países también. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, todo el mundo. 
Mexico City is a city like no other, and this is why it is on our top five list of must visit cities. It is a bustling metropolis that is very busy, but there is just something so satisfying about being in Mexico City. The people are very welcoming and are genuinely interested in you. The smells of street food will literally captivate you as you walk along the street. The subway system, bus system, and transportation in general is very efficient and very easy to access, not to mention the prices. The first time we went to Mexico, we completely skipped over Mexico City because of things we read and saw in the news. This time around, we decided we have to give Mexico City a chance, and we are so glad that we did. We had so much fun in this city from the people to the food, the transportation, and most of all, the city felt very safe and really clean. So we are glad we took the plunge and came, and we could not recommend Mexico City more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned to see what else we did in Mexico City.